I visualize in my mind what is a, a person or a place or what I like something to evoke. I want the subject of whatever it is to present itself in its deeper way. Raging in the winter of the soul, the impossible dance is within the reach of each, and the outcast chants commence. My name is Ruth Weiss. I knew all my life I am to be a poet and that the poems would have meanings in the world. Ruth Weiss has a very unique place in American history. She contributed to our culture with her poetry and the innovation of the jazz and beat poetry. I was living downstairs in the basement in a broom I painted all black with a blue bar light bulb. And Ernest Alexander pulls the paper out of my typewriter and reads it. He runs up the stairs and says to the music, you gotta hear this. And I started to read, and they started playing music. She uh, is a true innovator of beat jazz poetry. In fact, historically, she may have been the first. The beats literally changed the course of America and the world. So much so that a young person today considers the values from the beat generation to be normal. The next show is about to begin. <laughs> Mama Earth and her troupe present the new begin. Yeah! The Beats didn't know what they were doing at first. Allen Ginsberg or Jack Kerouac or Ruth Weiss were running around thinking in this fashion, but they were living that. Jack showed up usually two, three in the morning. And he was always drinking red wine. I was always drinking beer. And uh, out of the blue, we started writing haiku to each other. I wish I had those haiku. I'd be a millionaire today. <laughs> the women really did get short shrift in the 50s. It was the boys that got all the publishing contracts. I sent off things several times. It was always rejected, and they said, oh, we don't publish women. In the 1950s, if you were male, you could be a rebel. But if you were female, your parents would come get you. They'd drag you home. And if you wouldn't go, they'd have you locked up. They'd give you electric shock. And the beats broke that mold. The poem kept me going. The poems kept me going. She has always performed. She's always read. And she's always been interested in having art happen and having art happen in a performative way. I never had brothers or sisters, and all my relatives died in concentration camps. So my work is the thing that will continue my line. If Ruth Weiss hadn't survived the Nazis in Austria, our culture wouldn't be like it is now. Do what you feel from inside, not just what you want. Follow that inside. Go deeply in what is really important in life, and that almost sounds like live, but it's called life.